My name is Antonia Dugu. I'm the brain behind Facts, Organic Herbs and Spices, a trained journalist. Uh, we decided to dive into entrepreneur. I produce herbs and spices, mixed spices, and uh, we produce the conches. I tell people we produce the conches and the tastiest coolie coolie. Uh, we sell over 500 herbs, spices, nuts, grains, um, and different things like that. Only, you know, we, uh, as we have some, we, we get some from here in Nigeria, and um, by God's grace, we import some into the country as well. Uh, I delved into it um, in 2018, shortly after I had my daughter. I almost, I lost my job when I was, um, due to, I mean, some factors though. I was always sick while um, doing pregnancy. I almost slipped into depression because I had nothing doing. Immediately I lost, immediately I had my child. My husband got me a car and um, felt just, all you have to do is just drive around, pick the kids from school, you know. And um, I wasn't enjoying it. At a point in time, I told one of my family friends that, ah, Uncle me, look at me. He said, hey, sure, you want to go and start uh, looking for a job? Now, I hey, know whatever you want to do. Okay, to cut a very long story short, we had a program in my church where one of our sisters in church was talked about health and health-related program. So my husband was having a very high blood pressure then. He came home shortly after that. He bought some of the things as to marry ginger, garlic, and black pepper. My husband came home with it. That was in September 2018. And I just told him, I can do this business. So he said, hey, Lord, she, you know, go and do it. And then I had like 13,000 naira or barely 15,000 naira in my account. And they didn't even allow, I didn't even allow him to have a second thought. The following day, schools were on break then. I went outside. I went to a particular market. I got there. I was with fat to another packet. That was just the beginning. And um, to the glory of God, it has been blossoming since then. I started, I wanted to be selling online. I, did, I thought, I mean, you know, I'll just put it on my Facebook page, my Instagram page, and people would just bombard me with sales. I never knew it, it doesn't happen like that. I also thought I would give to my church members, you know, my church members would be buying from me, which they bought, you know, it wasn't as. So initially, one day, I just decided to go to a, uh, an office, you know, just to show people. And when I got there, I, I saw that, you know, I raced back home. Don't forget I have a baby. My daughter was just like six months or there about then. I raced back home. I was so happy. I made some money. Um, there are times I would go to some office and I was like, go back, go back, go back. You know, I was like a me. Me that I've interviewed a sitting governor. I knew what I wanted. I knew I want to succeed. So I was able to adapt so quickly. You know, I tell people that journalism is something I can do for free. You know, it's journalism, it's... it's I don't know how to describe journalism. It's, it has become a passion for me. It's something you're so happy doing. You understand? Money or no money, in quotes, you understand? That's why some of us, we aren't making money via journalism. If it were not journalism, it, it wouldn't be journalism. That's why it's difficult for me, despite all I'm doing now, to say, no, journalism, go and, go and, go and, go and sleep. I don't need you again, you know? <laughs> Some of these products, too, I have people when they have an event, you know, you just, you don't, you, you, you need, uh, you, you just need something, a departure from the norm, you know. You, I, I can brand, I brand some of these products like a kuli kuli, um, you need to see it, we just, I mean, and, and they come cheaply, you, you can get them for as low as 300, now imagine having a souvenir of 300, 500, now it's, that's very, very cheap. I sell herbs, spices, and um, mixed nuts. And I sell the corn chairs and tasteers coolie coolie. I have some signature spices which are ginger mix, curry mix, and designer pepper. In fact, you need to taste our designer pepper. It's a blend of exotic herbs and spices. All our big mixed spices. In fact, there are some, there are there are big spices, there are season, there are things you can use without using the um, artificial seasonings. I mean, you know, they help you ditch away from artificial seasonings to to using something natural and you know they are so beneficial to our health they are they are nutritious and they help you grow well they help you age well as 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 well mm -hmm.